not only in Nashville, but over the state of Tennessee and nationally, in a real sense. Well, uh, I think that, that to the extent that that has happened, and we've gotten some national recognition, uh, has been because we have had strong national partners. Mm -hmm. Project WAVE was one of the, the mm -hmm. partners, in project, which resulted in Project WAVE Nashville mm -hmm. here, which was a partnership between radio mm -hmm. and uh, STD Free, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we were able to accomplish with that was, uh, I think, something that, that was uh, kind of historic, and that is three mm -hmm. urban radio stations uh, who mm -hmm. are fiercely competitive, um, sharing a stage uh, under uh, mm -hmm. Sharon Kay's leadership uh, mm -hmm. and, and hosting. Uh, to address the issue of, of HIV, and I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know when that's ever occurred, uh, mm -hmm. and it happens every year at our National HIV Testing Day mm -hmm. activity. Mm -hmm. So we're very proud of that as well. And so in real sense, you, you think that you might be able to bring some of the uh, things that you're doing with uh, STD into the uh, a HIV uh, issue, issue. Well, is we, work work? With, we work uh -huh. with both issues. Mm -hmm. uh, HIV, of course, is a sexually transmitted disease. Mm -hmm. So when we're working with syphilis and uh, mm -hmm. talking about chlamydia, we're mm -hmm. also talking about HIV and, and mm -hmm. AIDS as well. And mm -hmm. I think that's something that's uh, a little bit different from maybe some of the AIDS service organizations mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in the city that have a, a primary th thrust mm -hmm. um, that's related to, to HIV yeah, well, uh, and, and AIDS specifically. And, 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 and of course, Ms. Whitlow, the reason I say that is because uh, I guess I've been talking to most of the individuals who have uh, a primary concern with AIDS rather yes. than uh, say, even though, as you indicated, that it is an STD. <clears throat> but I guess, uh, and, 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 and for the most part, most of the uh, pictures that have been painted in reference to this disease are very, very pessimistic kinds of pictures, which is to say that uh, uh, it's getting worse, and it's, it's especially bad, HIV, I mean, and especially bad within the African-American community. And is, is that any validity in reference Absolutely. to Absolutely, and, and I think that it is something to be very concerned about. I think that there's less of a concern for uh, sexually transmitted diseases, but uh, mm -hmm. one of the reasons that sexually transmitted disease in, in relation to HIV is so important mm -hmm. and so important to be concerned about mm -hmm. is because sexually transmitted disease, a person that has a sexually transmitted right. disease, uh, is more likely to get HIV or become uh, oh, infected with good. HIV, mm -hmm. particularly mm -hmm. syphilis. <clears throat> it facilitates mm -hmm. very easily the transmission of... It's of, a gateway. Yes, so absolutely. Kind of yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, and and but 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 the whole issue of AIDS, and, and and that's how I think that we've dealt with uh, the STD issue up until this point on this particular show, and we and and, and I think uh, other than uh, since uh, your visit with us in uh, ninety eight ninety nine. I don't think that we've done that much with uh, STD as, as such. But, but, well, uh, HIV, I don't want to take anything mm -hmm. away from the issue of HIV. It is a very important issue, mm -hmm. one that we deal with, and mm -hmm. it is important particularly to the to, in the African-American community because mm -hmm. the, the rates have not uh, dropped off as, as they have in, in, mm -hmm. in some other populations. Mm -hmm. uh, women between the ages of, of, uh, of 25 and I think uh, 30, 34, mm -hmm. it's the number one cause uh, nationally. Mm -hmm. uh, for African-American women of mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. It's not breast cancer. Mm -hmm. It's not some of the other ailments that you might think mm -hmm. of, congenital heart disease or what have mm -hmm. you. Uh, it's, it's HIV for well, African-American women. I think, think in a real sense, Ms. Whitlow, that's the kind of information that we've been getting in reference to uh, AIDS, that it is. And, 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 uh, now, could you use uh, what you're doing, uh, the kind of outreach that you have in dealing with, uh, I think, because uh, 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 you deal with teenagers in reference to that, but do you ever in a real sense deal specifically with the uh, AIDS issue or do you just put them all together as uh, as you indicated it is an STD but do you sort of separate that to talk to them specifically about this disease? When, when the case warrants but <clears throat> we try to provide as much education mm -hmm. about as many sexually transmitted diseases when the opportunity presents itself so mm -hmm. we want to talk about the whole ca uh, cadre mm -hmm. of, of sexually transmitted mm -hmm. diseases including HIV to drive mm -hmm. home the point mm -hmm. uh, of the importance of, of, mm -hmm. uh, of health and, and mm -hmm. being sexually responsible mm -hmm. with regard to all sexually transmitted mm -hmm. diseases. How has the public school system uh, responded to this whole issue of STD, uh, Ms. Whitlow, especially when we uh, remember that for the most part, you know, people have difficulties dealing with uh, sex and education and, and uh, uh, those kinds of programs in well, school. Well, sexually transmitted disease is a, is a part of a, the curriculum on that is part of the core curriculum in Metro. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in, in that re respect, uh, you know, it's a, we, when we think about Tennessee, we, we don't uh, sometimes mm -hmm. think favorable 
on our educational system, mm -hmm. but it, it is a part of the core curriculum and those mm -hmm. subject matters are taught. We frequently go to, to schools and, and talk mm -hmm. about abstinence and as well schools come to Good. our mm -hmm. um, STD free um, uh, haunted house that occurs on uh, mm -hmm. Tennessee State's campus by the bus loads. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can't uh, we can't say that um, in Nashville mm -hmm. that we've been responsible. We probably need to increase mm -hmm. what uh, you're doing. The, mm -hmm. the information that we provide mm -hmm. to young mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You know, over the last couple of minutes here that we have here, uh, Ms. Whitlow, let's uh, give you an opportunity to perhaps speak to some of those issues that. Uh, you felt to be very, very significant in terms of your visit with us today that you might have an opportunity to say anything about? Well, I think one of the messages uh, that I definitely would want your audience to know and be aware of is that sexually transmitted diseases, all of them mm -hmm. are preventable. Mm -hmm. uh, all sexually transmitted diseases, even HIV, are treatable. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess when uh, an individual perhaps if they have uh, you know we ask all the time well yeah. why you know is there is there this issue of STDs when mm -hmm. we know how to prevent STDs mm -hmm. but if you know if you're uh, if you've got 15 problems certainly um, mm -hmm. you, if you suspect that you have a, a STD you don't want a 16th one so mm -hmm. people just prefer sometimes not to know mm -hmm. but um, what we want people to know is that uh, treatment is is simple uh, as going to the Metro mm -hmm. Health Department testing now is as easy mm -hmm. as taking for for um, uh, HIV mm -hmm. as easy as, as taking an Orisure test mm -hmm. and it's quick and many times it's free so we want people to, to um, make uh, the services at the Metro Health Department av available, mm -hmm. avail themselves of it mm -hmm. and as well uh, seek out uh, testing uh, mm -hmm. in these community mm -hmm. uh, type of situations where there's entertainment, the STD free model is entertainment Mm -hmm. uh, in the park mm -hmm. and uh, food, free food, uh, music, more, mm -hmm. and uh, then we also uh, do some things uh, around providing some incentives and t-shirts and that sort of thing mm -hmm. for individuals. Mm -hmm. So that's our model and mm -hmm. um, we think we've been very successful with it. And so you think you're doing a very, very good job in doing what you're doing? I, I think our referrals and calls mm -hmm. suggest that uh, people reach us by calling 297-0STD and that's very easy to remember, or 297-0783. Very good, and of course, Ms. Whitlow, let me uh, thank you for bringing that excellent information by with us today. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week to another informative edition of Comments. Thank you, and 